Today we're going to be reading a book called Choosing a Puppy. So before we start, let's see if we can make a prediction. So using the pictures and the title and what you might already know, what do you think might happen in this story? There's a few clues in the pictures that might help you. So make a prediction and then once you've done that, turn to someone and talk and then we'll look at some of the words we're going to come across. Okay. Okay, before we start, let's have a look at some of the common words. So what I'd like you to do is just take a, a minute to see which ones you recognise. So point to them and see which ones you can read. And then, um, yeah, press pause. And then when you're ready, press play and we'll go through them. So look to see which ones you know, and then we'll go through them all. So we'll start from the top. We've got said and here with dog can the you are like look and he now we're going to look at some other words we're going to come across in the book so what i'd like you to do is just practice that sound chunking the words so breaking the words into parts you know and sounding them out. So pause for a second and see if you can work out what some of the words are and then we'll go through and do that together. So we're going to practice today chunking, so breaking the words into parts we know and sometimes even looking for words we might know. All right, so have a go yourself, pause, and then we'll go through them together. Okay, let's look at them. So the first we've got b a s k e t so basket. Then we've got m a t h e r mother so set so we're just rather than setting that all by one let's look for those part we know and chunking and we've got brr ow n brown this next one you might recognize a word at the front of that so we've got big we've got big at the front so it's big e s t biggest so it's just still chunking it into parts and then scooping it together the word underneath that let's have a look at it we've got i can see a word at the start two and i can also say day see day so it's Today, and the next column we've got p a p puppy. Then I can see a word here a at the front. And I've got sl e e p, so it's a sleep. The next one is sp o t spots. Looking at the front here, we've got a diagraph th. Then we've got an k, so it's th an k thank. And finally, we've got L, it, or little. There's different ways to break it up, but yeah, so little you could break it up as li, t, l, or lit, l. So it depends how you want to break it up. So you don't always have to break up the words the same, but just look for those parts you know, and the chunks of sounds, the diagrams, the trigraphs, or the blends, and just use those to help you sound out the words. All right, let's get started. Now, let's get going. Before we start, we'll do a quick picture walk to see what um, is going to happen in the text just to give us a bit of an idea and look at some of the words and what language that might come, in, come up in the story. So it's called Choosing a Puppy. So let's have a look at the front cover. Um, there's a boy and a girl, I think that's Rachel and that's Sam, and they're going to look for a puppy. So let's see. So they've gone with a basket to look at the puppy and there's the mother dog in, the, in her basket with the puppies. And the puppies are all asleep. The kids are looking at them, and Sam and Rachel are looking at them. They're asleep. I think they're going to have to choose a puppy. There's three puppies to choose from. There's a brown one, there's a black one, and then there's a the one with lots of spots. I wonder which one they're going to choose. Oh. This one's gone for a little walk. He's gone up to both of them. I wonder if that means he likes them. Not sure. Well, well that'll, that'll probably do because I won't ruin the ending for you. But today, what we're going to do is we're going to, I'm not going to do the shared reading today. I'm going to get you guys to read the book to yourself a few times and um, see how you go. So rather than doing a shared reading today, we're just going to read it to ourselves because we're at that level where we don't really need to do the shared reading. So you guys want you to just do your best, do all those things, good things, uh, the things that good readers do. So sound out the words, look for words you know. 
um, and try and yeah, really work on chunking. And then when you're finished, what I'd like you to do is retell the story using the pictures to help and just um, think about what happened first then what happened next and making it sort of all connect and um, just remembering to retell just the important parts of the story. So today, I'm just going to get you guys to go, go to the PDF and read it to yourself with, um, yeah, and hopefully you go all right. So read it three or four times and then retell and that's your activity for today. Okay, and for our follow-up today, what we're going to do is we're going to make a flip book, which is just a beginning, middle and end flip book to help us sort of organise our retail. So we're going to, so to make that, all you need to do is get an A piece of A3 pa A4 paper, fold it in half down the middle, then just divide it into three and do beginning, middle and end. Then what I'll get you to do is just write, draw a picture of what happened in the beginning, what happened in the middle, and then what happened in the end. If you'd like, you could also write a sentence, like maybe on the top flap. So draw the picture down there, then write at the top what happened. And um, yeah, just to help organize your retail. So remembering to retail the beginning, middle and end using the book. All right, look forward to seeing your work and um, yeah, catching up with you during the week. Bye.